Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to another edition of Flick News, the show here on Flick Direct, where I give you guys the latest that happened in entertainment news throughout the week, and then I give you all my personal take on the matter at hand. I'm your host, Thomas Obama, and this week, believe it or not, guys, was actually kind of a slow week for movie news. I mean, there were a couple of things that did happen, but the two big things, well, actually three big things happened this week are due to, well, Fast and Furious 10 and... Across the Spider Verse, which I am saving for last because this bit of news makes me so freaking happy. I mean, you guys have no idea. And by the way, Spider Verse is absolutely incredible. So I'll let you guys know that right now. Let's get right into our first news for this week, and that involves Fast. And it's actually technically the two out of the three news stories, but I'm going to separate them for a particular reason. But, anyways, the first news story is more of a rumor than anything else because nothing has been absolutely confirmed. However, if this was true, for some reason, I wouldn't doubt it, but this is a hot rumor, so please take this with the biggest grain of salt possible. But apparently, guys, when it comes to Fast and Furious 10, as you all know, the reviews have been mixed. The movie has like what, like a 59% Rotten Tomatoes. It should be in my eyes, at least in the 60s, because I really enjoyed Fast X a lot. And I mean, I enjoyed it a lot so much more than F9. But anyways, that's besides the point. One of the reasons why I enjoyed Fast X so it's just because of Jay Samo, who apparently, according to the server guys, get this, as in hot water of Vin Diesel, because get this. Now, guys, before I continue on, one more time, this is just a rumor. So just remember, grain and a large grain of salt for that matter. But apparently, guys, get this. Vin Diesel was unhappy by that Jason Momoa steals a lot of Vin Diesel scenes in Fast X. Now, again, this is just a rumor. But if this rumor is true, all I'm going to say is this. Really? If you're really unhappy about Jason Momoa being a highlight of the film, I mean, really, dude? Because here's the thing. If you're going to be a part of a film franchise as big as Fast and Furious, your franchise, particularly a part of a franchise or a film goes as big as it does, your film has to have a great villain. And Jace Momoa is a terrific villain. And where Fast X ends, I cannot wait to see where the trilogy now goes for the Fast and Furious, now concluding trilogy of the Fast and Furious franchise. I completely get this as a rumor, but if this is actually true, it's really kind of sad that Vin Diesel is upset with that... Jason Momoa is stealing scenes. <laughs> yeah, Fast X has a great villain. And I think Jason Momoa is easily the best part about Fast X. And I get to see where this character goes in the next two movies. I am very, very happy about that. Going on to the next story about Fast X. Well, technically, this is not really about Fast X, but deals with the future of the Fast and Furious series. But anyways, guys, now, what you guys know right now, Spoiler alert in case you guys have not seen Fast X. Just want you guys to know right now. In case if you guys haven't seen it, I'll leave a link in the time code for when the last news story comes about, or in case if you do not care. Regardless, you've been warned. So, in case if you guys have seen Fast X, you will all know that in the post credit scene, Dwayne Johnson does appear as Luke Hobbs, Agent Luke Hobbs, to potentially show. And the final two Fast and Furious films. Well, apparently, guys, get this. According to Dwayne Johnson himself, the horse's mouth himself, there is going to be a solo Fast and Furious film that ties together the events of his movie with the final two movies of the Fast and Furious franchise. It really makes me think... Is he really going to share screen time with Vin Diesel or is this film going to take place after the events of Fast X of which we see everything leading up to possibly Fast 11 or is Dwayne Johnson really going to be in the final two movies of the Fast and Furious franchise because that's so it makes me very happy if not I'm very curious to see where a solo film 
what Dwayne Johnson was going to go to because if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure Hobbs and Shaw sequel, is that still happening or aren't they still writing the script as far as I'm aware? But all I know is this, apparently Dwayne Johnson has signed on for a solo film before the final two Fast and Furious movies come out, which makes me think, what exactly is going on? I hope things are more cleared up, but otherwise, don't know what's going on too much other than that. I'm just excited to see where Dwayne Johnson's Luke Cobb shows up now in the Fast and Furious franchise, knowing where things are going. Regardless, I am so excited, nonetheless. Before we move on to our last bit of movie news this week, this headline made me so happy so i have to share it with you guys and that deals with the box office of spider-man across the spider-verse now like i said to you guys earlier spider-man across the spider-verse if you haven't seen it yet guys go check it out it's an absolutely incredible film that i think is better than the first movie absolutely freaking lily and i've been waiting for this film for ages if you guys remember correctly back in 2018 when into the spider-verse came out and the Spider-Verse debuted to a $35 million opening. And keep this in mind, guys, the budget for, for um, Spider-Verse, I think a, for Into the Spider-Verse, was a little over $100 million, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was right around there. It made a lot of money. That's open week in 35 And it went to gross over, I think, like, close to $400 million. Well, guys, get this. Across the Spider-Verse, has a budget of, I believe... A hundred million as well. Guess what the opening box office was for domestic alone. Into the Spider Verse's opening domestic weekend, 35 million. Across the Spider Verse debuted to a domestic opening of a hundred and twenty million. If not almost five times the amount of the first movie. Holy freaking crap. For those of you saying that comic book fatigue is setting in, well, according to the Guardians of the Galaxy and now Across the Spider-Verse, I call BS on that. I am so happy for Across the Spider-Verse. I'm playing on seeing it again on Tuesday. And you know what? Man, congrats to everybody involved making Across the Spider-Verse. You made one heck of a movie. And I go to see Beyond the Spider-Verse. This is going to be so amazing. I'm hoping that Across the Spider-Verse makes even more bank in the next coming weeks. Seriously, congratulations to everybody involved. Across the Spider-Verse is an absolutely amazing film. And I hope it makes even more when it, than it just made this opening week. And $120 million. That's absolutely insane. That's going to wrap it up for this week's show. Please comment on this level starting off. How do you guys feel about this rumor about Vin Diesel being unhappy with Jace Momoa stealing Thunder and Fast X? Also, how do you guys also feel about Dwayne Johnson of a solo movie before the 11th and 12th Fast and Furious films? And finally, guys... How do you feel about Across the Spider-Verse opening to such a gigantic number, 120 million? Have you seen the film yet? What did you think about it? Let us know below. I hope you enjoyed this week's show. If so, please hit that like button, also share, and don't forget the subscribe button and the notification bell for the latest new show goes live. If you guys want to see a review to new shows, please click it right there or right there. And then of course, until our next new show goes live next week, we'll see you all next week. Have a wonderful week, guys. Hit like smash subscribe, and get notified for whenever reviews, interviews, and news go live.